All right, here we are in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to show you the difference between 72 and uh, 300 resolution. Uh, a lot of people say DPI. Uh, this is dots per inch, which is kind of misleading. I'll show you why. Uh, when you open something up in Photoshop, this is for this image on the right, uh, 72 pixels per inch uh, PPI. And that's what displays use, not dots per inch. Dots per inch are for DPI, dots per inch are for printers. Uh, that's, they print that many dots in one inch, but I'll get into that in a second here. This is a, uh, so this one's at 300 PPI or the resolution's at 300. That's a, a higher density of pixels and dots. So let's, uh, you know, you can zoom in here and see that we're both, we're at, okay, they're at 200. So yeah, these look about the same, but, um, they appear same, but yeah, like I said, uh, 72 dots per inch is not what you want. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, I mean, if you're printing, um, I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to change this down. I'm going to make it a, give you an example of what this would look like if you did print it uh, on a you know a high resolution printer. Like you see, you you start to get some detail loss there where you don't have that here. And so this is still good, and you're losing detail here. So I would assume if you printed a 72 DPI on a on a nice big like a commercial printer, you know, you might not see too much detail on your home printer, but, um, you know, the, it all depends on your printer too. But I mean, yeah, I would even something like that, you know, this thing, uh, look at the difference uh, there in the, the tattoos and stuff and just the hair and face. So yeah, um, that's the difference. Uh, you know, 72 DPI, uh, and, or PPI is basically just, it's cool for web and stuff, but not for printing. Uh, you want to go 300 DPI for printing. All right. Uh, hopefully that helped. Uh, if it did, let me know in the comments. Thanks.